How would you like to get business credit like this fast? I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step process that's very different than what you might see on other videos. You see, most people are going to talk to you about building tier one, tier two, tier three, and just takes too long. This video, I'm going to share with you a brand new method. And you might be wondering, well, how long does this process take? Well, I'm going to show you how in one day you can create your company, have your address set up, and even a business checking account, all from the comfort of your home. We'll then boost up your business credit score so that you can get funding. Now, I cut a lot of the fluff out of this video so let's dive in when creating your company you have the option of doing it online using services like swift filings or you can use the secretary of state website you want to create what i call a neutral company so use a name for your business that's neutral and a line of business that's neutral now i realize you may have already created your company and that's fine we're going to work with what you have but if you are starting from scratch Think about the fact that the name JTI Real Estate is not as neutral as JTI Management. It's a lot easier to get funding the more neutral that you are. So for example, there's different SIC codes that you can use when you're establishing your business. I like to use 8741, which is Management Services. It also gives you a little bit of wiggle room with what your business will be doing. Getting your EIN number from the IRS is quick and simple, it takes about 10 minutes. You just click Apply Online Now. When you're setting up your address for your business, Try to avoid using UPS store addresses or PO box addresses. It's okay to use either a home address with a suite. So for example, if you live at 123 Main Street, your business address could be 123 Main Street Suite A, or you can use a shared office address. Do not believe the myth that you can't get business credit with a home address. So many architects, engineers, marketing consultants, even seven-figure businesses work from home. You need to get a phone number for your business that's different than your cell phone number. I use services like Freedom Voice or Ring Central. Both of them allow you to get a phone number immediately. It's time to get that phone number and your business presence listed online. I use services like GoDaddy because you can get your .com, email address, and website all set up in a matter of minutes. Business credit vendors and banks are going to either automatically or manually Google your company. So you got to be on the map. You need the name, address, and phone number of your company listed online. You can do this for free using services like Google, Yelp, Super Pages, 411, or you can pay services like Moz Local, and they do all the local listings for you. Next, you need to set up a business checking account, and I'm not exaggerating when I say you could do this in less than 10 minutes using new fintech companies like Novo. You'll have your bank account and your routing number in no time, and there's no minimum deposit. Now you need a NAV account. NAV is going to boost up your business credit score and allow you to track and monitor things. I like the NAV Prime account because it gives you two trade lines to boost up your business credit score. You get the NAV Prime account and the NAV Prime card. Right, let's move to the next phase, which is using Net30 and vendor accounts to boost up your business credit score. Now, if you want a copy of my cheat sheet, you can actually download this. There's a link in the description. And what I've done is actually highlight the Net30 vendor accounts in green that actually report. This saves you time from getting vendor accounts that are never going to boost up your business credit profile. One of the vendors here is eCredible. So I'm going to open that up. And eCredible is very consistent at reporting your business credit trade lines to boost up your business credit score. They have two different plans and both of them work really well. Now, you may have noticed that I didn't say to go get your DUNS number yet. And that's where our process is very different. You see, there's three business credit bureaus that banks are gonna look at when they're trying to decide if they're gonna give you business credit. There's DMB, there's Experian, and there's Equifax. What we've done up to this point is boost up our Experian and our Equifax business credit profile. Experian happens to be the most popular bureau that banks are going to look at. And we don't need to wait for our DUNS number to start boosting up Experian. That's what makes this process so unique. Now, we still wanna get our DUNS number. So we go to Dun & Bradstreet's website and we click on get a Dun's number. You can expedite this for a fee or you can get the free Dun's number. The choice is yours. Now I'm gonna share with you another secret technique. BP offers a gas card. And if you go in there and try to apply without any positive reporting trade lines, it is actually hard to get approved for them. However, you can actually call them up and you can get a no PG, no personal guarantee option. You'll have the card right away and you just have to place a deposit into the account. You see, this fast forwards the process of waiting for all your vendor credit to report on your business credit profile before you move to the next stage. And yet this way, you get that BP gas card right away and you could start using it weekly. This gas card, amongst others, will quickly boost up your business credit score. 
There's a lot of other Net30 vendors out there that you can look into getting. One of my favorites is Quill. You can create an account online, and then when you make purchases at this vendor, you select Bill Me Later or the Net30 account. They'll send you the product that you ordered, and then you have 30 days to pay the bill. You want to pay that bill about one week early. And every time you buy something this way, it's going to boost up your business credit score. Not every vendor is as easy to get as the others, but that's why I had you start with NAV and eCredible. Everyone gets approved for them. And did you know that NAV reports at the beginning of every month? So if you hurry up and get your NAV account, within a matter of weeks, you could have your first business credit trade line reporting to Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax. Earlier, I showed you a business credit card that I just got approved for. And I don't see a lot of people talking about how you can get cards like that quickly. When you're getting business lines of credit, you usually need a company that's been in business for two years. But with business credit cards, you could have a company that was just created and get approved, but you need to work with local community banks and credit unions. I call these backyard banks. An example of a backyard bank in my area is Valley National Bank. They're a regional lender and they lend their own money. That means that they're a portfolio lender. When you're working with banks that are portfolio lenders, it's a lot easier to get funding from them because they don't try to fit you inside of a little box. I have nothing against Chase and Bank of America and Amex and Citi and all those banks. I have those cards too. But when you're first starting out, you want to work with these community banks. Banks like Valley offer business credit cards up to $25,000 and business lines of credit up to $100,000 before they require any tax returns or financials. This is great for startups. The fastest way to find banks that are lending in your backyard is to use the SBA lending tool. We don't necessarily want an SBA loan, but they rank the top lending banks in your state. It's called the Lender Report. Check out all of these banks, many of which you may have never even heard of, and that's a good thing, because they offer unsecured business credit cards and business lines of credit for startup companies like yours. Building business credit can be very freeing. It gets you off of personal credit. And having net 30 and vendor accounts and store cards and gas cards is great. But the real magic begins when you start getting real business funding, even if your business is brand new, and this video is gonna show you how to do that.